Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 5th. And it's cold here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Darn it. I, I want summer. And <laughs> we get like two days of it and then we seem to go back into... It was 52 when I got up this morning. It's June. We're normally flirting with 80 by this time of year. And uh, that ain't gonna happen. We're, we're gonna maybe hit 70, 72, something like that. And it annoys me because we're, uh, we're going on vacation this week. And we're going down to Ocean City, Maryland, where I was expecting it would be warm. And it's actually going to be colder in Ocean City than it is here in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just the luck of the draw. You know, you got to plan these things in advance. And this is, this is the week we're going. So we will enjoy it regardless. Uh, my wife and I are committed to that. We don't care if it rains the whole time we're there. we got a balcony. We'll sit out and watch the rain and have a nice time watch the rain over the ocean it'll be great and uh you'll still be putting pictures on instagram while we're gone and i'll maybe do a post here on youtube or something i won't while we're doing housekeeping sort of things i won't uh do a wednesday video for certain i will not do the friday live stream this week but i will be back this time next week so uh sunday june whatever that is, 12th, I think, uh, yeah, 12th, yeah, so we're, we're going on a trip, and it's going to be fun, um, we're leaving on tomorrow, um, and we're coming back on Friday, probably going to get in late on Friday night, which is why I'm not doing a live stream, and I like Ocean City, it's, it's a fun town, it's, uh, it's a nice balance between, you know, being like a wild beach town, like spring break kind of atmosphere and more of a family centric uh, kind of place. So it's not boring, but it's not crazy. And there's some good restaurants. We love seafood and there's some really good seafood restaurants there that I'm looking forward to. Some uh, really good places to get uh, adult beverages that I'm looking forward to. Uh, there's there's a place in Ocean City, I hope it's still there, it's called Mr. Duck, and Mr. Duck makes the best Bloody Marys I've ever had. So if you like a Bloody Mary, get yourself to Ocean City, Maryland, find Mr. Duck and drink one. <laughs> uh, so, packing. It's an interesting subject, packing for a trip. Now, I've told you before, I, I used to travel a lot. Um, and, you know, to me, I'd say, okay, I've got to get to the airport tomorrow morning. Let me get out my rolling suitcase. And by the way, if you get a rolling suitcase, make sure you get one of the ones that can spin. It's a game changer. Get out my rolling suitcase, put it on the bed. How many days am I going to be gone? Okay, I need that many pairs of this and that many. There, right, zip it up. Front pocket, slide in my laptop computer for work, slide in a charger, a phone charger. And, and a laptop charger, zip it up, go to bed. That, that's packing for me. And that's how I will pack for this trip as well. <laughs> my dearest uh, started about a month ago and she's not, she, she's not ready. You know, she's not going, she's going to be going crazy all day today. Uh, she'll probably still be packing tomorrow morning. It's just, and I love her, but boy, this kind of stuff drives me nuts, you know. And so she she had to get a room that has a full kitchen in it, and that's fine, you know. I understand it's expensive to eat out, and we're we're both eating um, relatively clean these days, so we try not to go to a lot of restaurants, and we try to make our own food. So you know, I get that, and we're we're going to go out. Obviously, we're going to be eating dinner out, and we're probably going to have a couple of breakfasts and lunches out, but the occasional meal there will be nice. So she says to me last night, I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. What food should I buy? I said, we're not going to be here. She said, no, no, no. What are we going to take? 
And I don't know how to answer this question because my thought is nothing. They have grocery stores there, but that'll get me in trouble because we're in that we're at that heightened state right now where, yeah, I got to get everything done, and if I say the wrong thing, it's going to be bad. But I don't know. I I don't. What am I supposed to say? You know, I can list the things that I normally eat, but I don't know what you take when you're going on vacation and you want to take food. I I don't. It's a strange concept to me. But I do know that when you go on vacation and you want to take pipes, it can be a problem. Um, this is something that uh, has, you know, over the years kind of evolved for me. I, I used to think about it a lot. I used to worry about it a lot. But I pretty well have a plan. And I thought maybe I would kind of share that with you today, tell you a bit about how I, how I pack pipes for a trip. Now, I'm not talking about a day trip. You know, if I'm just going to visit someone or like we when we went up to Boswell's for, for the meet up there or something like that, I'm not going to take a ton of pipes and tobaccos and stuff. Uh, well, if it's a meet up, I'll probably take a few extra tins. But, you know, it's if I'm going fishing, if I'm, if I'm just going out for a drive, you know, that kind of stuff. I got a pipe roll. I got two. I've got a really nice one from Soaring Owl. And I've got a really nice one from uh, Miss Kathy, uh, from uh, Bear Wolf and Miss Kathy fame. And they're both wonderful. They both hold at least two pipes, and you can put tobacco and pipe cleaners and all that stuff in, roll them up, and you go. It's great. Uh, but if I'm going to be gone long, longer than the day, I need to think ahead a bit. And I've got a couple of things I'll show you. And this is the way I do it. You know, may or may not work out for you, but... I've pretty much already packed for tomorrow, and this is this is everything that I'll be taking. This itself is a men's toiletry bag, or men's shaving kit bag. I bought it off of Amazon years ago. I have no idea what the brand is, but um, it doesn't have any labels on it or anything. But it was like six dollars or something, incredible bargain considering what you can do with this and it's a very simple one you know it's got this one handle you open it up on the top and it's got a nice wide opening and this is actually to hang it up if you're using it for you know shower stuff you can hang it on the back of the door or something but you can see there's this mesh pocket up here and what I got in there is a big lighter a check tool and a box of matches. Um, I'll probably change that box out with a box of the three star matches because those are those crappy kitchen matches. But I, I almost never use them. They're just there for backup. The big lighter, I don't take Zippos anymore when I when I go away because you gotta fill them and everything and, and you know. Northwestern pipe smoker anyway. Is that right? Tom will be happy to see that I've got a bit here. Um, and, you know, the great thing about Bix is every couple of years this lighter will run out of fuel and I can go to the nearest gas station or grocery store and buy another one for a couple of dollars and just throw this one away. So it works out great. So that's everything there. And then inside the bag, you know, in the, in the depths of the bag, I've got everything else. So first off, I got one pipe that I will take with me in hand tomorrow. Uh, I call that my traveling pipe. Uh, in this case, it's going to be my little Europe. It's a great pipe to, you know, it's small enough. I can easily uh, smoke this. Well, it's, it's actually got a big bowl, but it's, it's a nice small pipe that is easy to keep in the car and uh, travel with. And I do have, where is it? My tobacco pouch. This is a Peterson pouch. Really nice, can hold a lot of tobacco. Unfortunately, I don't think they make these anymore. Uh, it's got a little zipper pocket on the back here. I, I don't, well, I'll show you what I keep in it, but you guys know I'm Catholic and I like the rosary. So that's a little finger rosary that I keep there just in case. You don't need it, you know, but you can pray the rosary without rosary but I just like having one with me 
Uh, and that's my my tobacco patch. And I take this with me to work every day. Anytime I'm going out, I, I have this in my back pocket. And I only put Haunted Bookshop in it because I don't want to ghost the pouch. So I got those two things. They'll go with me in the car. So they, these will not be in the bag. In the bag, I've got my Yaro Haunted Bookshop. And I will, this is a little light, so I'll fill that before I go. This is the one that I keep upstairs next to my chair. Uh, and I bring it down here when it's empty and fill it from the tub o haunted bookshop. And, you know, it's a nice size mason jar. It obviously keeps the things very well. Uh, you know, it doesn't dry out or anything. Not that haunted bookshop has that problem, really. And I can put enough in here for... Mm, you know, this this is probably a three or four day supply if I, this is the only thing I'm smoking. I'm also taking on this trip this Peterson Irish Dew, which I am enjoying. You know, it's it's lightly aromatic Virginia blend, and uh, it's very good. So thank you, Christian. And this is gonna surprise you. This is not Saint Espresso. <laughs> This is actually Nutty Irishman. The reason is, the San Espresso is going to take me a long time to smoke. I don't like it, but I want to get through it. I want to, I want to figure it out. And so what I've done is I've put that into, I think that's it, into a mason jar. And I'll probably have a bowl of this once a week or so. So this is going to be around for a long time. The Nutty Irishman just seemed like a more robust blend. I don't think it's going to dry out easily. And so I just reused this container and put the label on top of it. So those are what I'm taking. These are my car blends to keep my wife happy. Although she doesn't care. She, she said the haunted bookshop is fine. And then the last thing that's in here is this. Let me set the bag aside so I can show this to you. This is a... I have no hope of reading that. This is a Viking made in Denmark uh, pipe travel bag. This was also a gift from my friend Christian, and he sent this to me a long time ago, back when we first became friends. He's a very kind and generous guy. And I, I really enjoy having Christian in my life. Uh, so many, so many good pipes and working friends. So Christian sent me this um, as a gift, just out of the blue, and it has become my favorite uh, way to travel with pipes. It's really quite nice. So it's got magnetic snaps on the front that open up. That reveals, ooh. <laughs> A pouch here and you could put tobacco in it but I just keep pipe cleaners and things like that in here uh, it, it's good to always have some pipe cleaners when you travel I got a couple of bristled ones I got a and by the way I use I take this is getting really picky but I normally use uh, tapered pipe cleaners but these are not tapered and the reason for that is sometimes you have pipes that don't like the tapered pipe cleaners um, they're just, they can be easier to use, although I don't think they clean as well, but you know, I'm only going to be gone a few days and I'm, I'm going to have enough pipes to, to get through. So that's that. Um, there's another pouch here you can put stuff in. I, I don't have anything in that. Now, if I didn't want to take the tobacco with me, I don't know why, but let's say I had the tobacco in a different container. A different bag. I could easily move the check tool and lighter and matches and stuff into this, and I, this is all that I would need, right? For pipes, this unzippers, it folds out. And I want to be careful not to throw my pipes all over the place. Uh, you can see that it's it's designed to hold three. I actually have four in there. There's this big loop here. I don't actually know what that's for. 
If anybody knows, let me know. I guess you could put a tobacco pouch in there. Uh, there's another little pocket. Maybe hard for me to show this. A little pocket here that you could put stuff in. Um, but really, this for me, this is just for pipes. And again, it's designed for three. It's easy to get. I mean, I, I probably have had six in here. Um, and it holds them well. They're, you know, they do touch one another, but I don't care about that too much. Uh, and the pipes I'm going to be taking, I tend to travel with billiards because I like them. They fit well into into cases like this, and they're just convenient pipes. So I've got my my Bari, so it's a Danny Shure pipe. I've got my good old basket billiard. Uh, enjoyed greatly over the years, and this was actually purchased on the road. I've got like object my first pipe and I've got pipe number one my little Demi Lovat which is of the billiard family and that's it zips up nicely now this is this is not an inexpensive item but you know, you can be creative. You don't need this. If you want to put your pipes in pipe socks, you can just stick them in this and you're ready, you're ready to go. So, that's how I pack for a trip. And then I take some clothes. Just kidding, I, I take, take enough clothes. And since this is a beach trip, I need a bathing suit and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll I'll spend a little bit more time packing for this than I would for a business trip, but not it, it'll be done in 30 minutes, I'm sure. Uh, my wife is up there packing now. By the way, this is a Briar Spirit pipe, and I am smoking my 2021 blend here. Uh, slowly working my way through that. For those of you that don't know, this is a mix of everything unique that I tried over the course of 2021. Uh, one bowl's worth. And it's good. It, I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and it always winds up being a very Virginia forward, somewhat periky blend. It's interesting. Good stuff. And of course, I've got some black coffee here. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed that, found it somewhat informative, or at least got a peek into the dark recesses of my mind, which you don't want to go much further. Ah, uh, so today I've got got a weed. Weeds are coming up like crazy. The garden's doing really well. Arugula's starting to pop up. We got some beans popping up and uh, all the plants have taken beautifully. So I'm happy about that. I'll give them a good soaking tonight so that they're fairly okay for the week. Although there's probably going to be some rain during the week. So I don't think there'll be any issues. Brush the dogs play with them a little bit. They like Sunday mornings because uh, we we romp a little bit in the yard. Uh, although lately I throw a tennis ball and they, they used to run after it. Now they just look at me like, why did you throw that tennis ball? <laughs> They're getting lazy. I got to fix that somehow. I got to get a Frisbee. They love Frisbees. They don't catch them, but they chase them. And they're great because you can like throw them on the ground and roll them and they'll like pop around and stuff. It's a lot of fun. So I will go off and do those things. You go off and have a fantastic Sunday. Great week ahead, I hope. Uh, I'll be thinking of you while I'm sitting on the beach and drinking a tropical drink with an umbrella in it. 
it, it'll it'll be beer. I don't like those things. Maybe a Bloody Mary. And eating crabs and stuff like that. And I probably won't be thinking of you, but <laughs> uh, think of me. I will. Uh, I'll think of you. Yeah, that wasn't nice to say. Really. I'm rambling. Y'all have a great week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, as always. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.